day seven. Trolls. One of the blockages collapsed, leaving an opening to a whole den of the voracious beasts. I hid in one of the temporary hovels erected by the workers and I'm riding this while hoping for rescue. I can hear the screams of those poor commoners still outside. I hope at least one of them is able to escape and send help. My darling, if you read this, know that I have found my eternal rest in a troll's gullet. They've caught my center pounding on the door. Creator pro... Okay, um, maybe I can actually find that poor guy. Let's see. <laughs> Lion Eaton? Yeah, it seems a little bad like this. And welcome back, Rakshasa. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, there is a guy here, actually. How did he... Wait, what? How did he survive the trolls? Day one. The instant we arrived here in the middle of nowhere, I could sense my theory was absolutely correct. These magnificent rocks conceal the ancient ruins of the Serpentines. With my inner eye, I can already see a vast semicircular foundation of the banks of the Rowan under the White Falls, and a passage carved in the rock leading to the great city. I see pillars covered in gold leaf and vaults full of gems. Imagine the shame awaiting the skeptics from Floster and the Mage's Tower when we finally penetrate the collapsed rock and reach the ancient city of the Serpentines. The excavation will begin just as soon as the workers have set up the equipment. Okay, so I guess there was like um excavation going on around here. I'm pretty sure this guy was not here before, right? And I guess he just appeared here because I dealt... Oh... Oh... Oh, I cannot, I cannot even buy one of those because I don't have enough leadership. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, then again, like, they are not much tankier than my bears, to be honest. Like, they are not that much tankier. Although, probably, when if I level them up there, they'll become a lot more tanky. Uh, I am here. I think this is... Yeah, this is right around here. And I, I guess this guy unlocks like after you defeat the after you defeat the trolls. So yeah, I'm, I kind of I really like like strong tough units like this because they really help with the no loss run. But I don't know, maybe they don't look so good. For example, compared to, compared to bears, I guess they are a bit more tanky because they have a bit more armor, but not so much HP wise, and they'll definitely will deal less damage. But we'll see. We'll consider them. Once I get enough leadership to use them, actually, I don't have that much yet, so I'll have to come back here. Alright. Okay. So this is really weird that now there's suddenly a dude here selling the trolls that I just defeated, but okay. They, they could have just done it, like in the old King's Bounty games, where there would be like a cave and then I can just, you know, recruit some of the trolls that maybe you want to join me or something. <laughs> Right? Like, it really doesn't make sense that suddenly there's a dude, they're like, hey, I have some trolls here, what about them? Oh, okay. And when Orvala entered the house in the middle of the huge cave, she saw a table laid out of for a rich feast and seven small chairs around it. She thanked the creator for saving her and also Diamond, the earth spirit who led her there. Orvala ate a bit of food from each plate and drank some cold mountain water. Wait, that sounds familiar. She was so tired from traveling under the mountain that sleep overcame her. In her dream, she saw her mother crying and her betrothed and the entire crew of miners setting out in search of her. Wait, is it like the... Is it like the... Um, the Queen and the Seven Dwarfs or something? <laughs> Day 5. I now have no doubt my endeavor is blessed by the creator. Just five days into the excavation and the workers were already starting to complain. Someone started a rumor that I have no money and the men won't get anything until we reach the city of the Serpentines. How in Tara did they, on Tara did they figure it out? Not once did I imply their pay dependent entirely on what we find. Well, yeah. You played a risky game and it didn't pay off, I suppose. The situation was looking dire indeed, but Ilyu smiled upon me and one of the layabouts uncovered a heavy gold coin with a surface scratch and worn from the passage of time and an awful, incredible, pungent smell. This is a harbinger of my future success. Who says gold doesn't stink? My gold stinks of the serpentines. Huzzah! Alright, so there's some, like, an expedition here. 
that didn't end very well or like ended in the stomach of the trolls. So well, we can just we get to get the spoils of that. Uh, we cannot go through there. Okay, we got some more trash here. Let's see if there's like any good items. I suppose not. Okay. Um, what did I? A deed. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing this is just uh, another like a trash item to sell or something. Okay, but there's there should be a pig here somewhere as well. We just need to find it. Um I guess I guess somewhere here. Like it shouldn't be that hard to find, right? I guess a pig. Okay, we cannot go through here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we read this one. Ah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Are we carrying it? <laughs> hey, I guess we are. Now we have a pig in our backpack. Hopefully the bears will not eat it. Um, I guess. Okay, I guess that's all we can do here. Let's get back and give the pig back. Um, I just sell all the trash I find. I like. I'm. I'm not doing. Um. Like I'm not not doing anything special. Like I guess maybe you're you're buying you're buying a lot more troops than I am. Like I generally like I generally know what kind of troops I want, and I just kind of stick to them. And uh, again, I'm also I'm not sure you know how you're playing, but I'm basically trying to play w without losing any troops at the end of the combat, right? So I only spend gold to revive them if I have to. But I don't really have to like buy lost units uh, again, so like, I guess I conserve my gold in that way. Okay, so now we have a choice between uh, giving the pig back here for order points, or giving the pig back to the original dude for anarchy points. But we are already deep into order, so we're just gonna continue doing being a good girl. Here, I found your wondrous pig. Take it before I change my mind. No, you took my word over that of a madman. Why, thank you. I have little coin to spend on rewards, but we've had a good catch recently. Perhaps you can put this to use. Um, what do you mean, good catch? Do you mean a belt? Because I've gotten a belt for this, right? Um,. Okay, I'm actually not sure what I've gotten for this. Um, I guess one of those one of those belts or something. Okay. Anyway, so what we are most interested in is are the are the levels. Hey, did I got two levels here? Okay, that's actually interesting. I think I was level seven, and so I got like a lot of experience for this. That's great. I stop letting my troops die after I realize there's a certain amount you can buy before they go out of stock. Yeah, yeah, you re you really have to be careful because there's a limited stock and li limited resources, right? That's always the case with King's Bounty. Like, you have limited resources to buy units and the units themselves are also typically limited, at least the good ones. So, like, even if you are not trying to kind of win, win the fights perfectly, you should still try to minimize your losses as much as possible. Uh, okie doke. So yeah, we still have a lot of trash we we can sell to get a lot more gold. Yeah, I didn't have the chance to try the Griffons yet. I'm playing with the Flaming Eagles for now. Okay, I think we have like a lot of points to spend here now. Yeah, we've 
Oh, only three. So I guess I just got one level there. Or maybe I got just fewer points for leveling up here. Maybe the points I'm getting are not even from level to level. So I could upgrade this further so I can uh, upgrade some of my spells, which I think I want to do over actually doing some more damage, possibly. So let me go for this, actually. Because I have a lot of, probably a lot of spells I want to try leveling up. I definitely want to level up healing, which I've been forgetting to do for a while. So let's do that. Um, what about all our spells? I don't meet the requirements here. Torpor. Yeah, I still don't meet the requirements. I still need Arcade Knowledge 90 to upgrade this. Which kind of sucks. Um, I'd really like to have it. Oh, summon Clay Golem. Summons a unit, a unit of two rank one Clay Golem in the selected oh, unoccupied hex. Okay, I'm really interested in this one though. Can I upgrade it? I can. And I think I will. Because summons are also a perfect way to save your units, because you just summon them up, right? And they can uh, tank a lot of the a lot of the damage from the enemy. That's one way one way of doing of dealing with that. Uh, vivify applies regeneration buff to an allied unit. Unit restores 70 100 health at the beginning of its turn. Okay, that's really good. It's been a while since I looked at my, at my spells. I probably should have done it sooner. <laughs> And we definitely want to upgrade it. Um, all right. And haste, we haven't felt the need to use it yet. Although level two is definitely going to be a lot better. But then again, I only have two units right now, which I would want to speed up. So maybe I don't need it just yet. And what about here? Uh, weakness, we already have level 2. Doubt, I didn't feel the need to reduce the initiative just yet. Fracture, armor, yeah. I guess that could have been decent in this fight because those golems had, or those trolls had a lot of armor. Let me learn those, like level 1 for now, and then if I find them useful, and I find more mana because I'm actually running out of mana. I'll see if I can upgrade them. Okay. How may I serve you? Alright, so now we definitely want to go back to the city and buy some more of the eagles and buy more bears and general in general more units. I think we can also have one more healer. In this KB game gonna be dragons or other monsters to buy? I would imagine so, probably later. Like those are like dragons, especially are typically like late game units, right? So I would imagine we might fight them later. Uh, I want to go to here, I suppose. Oh yeah, yeah. we've we've seen one dragon, but it's unclear yet whether we can. Recruited later, probably we can, right? Buy some dragons. It would be weird, honestly, if we couldn't. Um, okay, so I'm guessing my horse is stuck there. <laughs> so let me try calling it again. Horsey! There we go. Okay, we're definitely getting stronger now, so maybe we'll be, we'll be able to deal with more fights more easily. I think she had the eagles. No, this guy had the eagles, right? Yes, okay. Um, num 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 num. And he had the birds. Um, num 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 num. Alright. And we cannot really have more crossbowmen. So that's it. We just you can just go back to buy one more healer there. Okay, let me actually sell all my trash. And that should mean we have a little bit more gold to work with too. 
Um, we have actually quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of uh, key items there. I think I can actually sell some of those as well, right? I'm not gonna, not gonna need those, um, those boots. I'm probably not gonna need the healer belt, although we might keep this ring because we might use the bowman later, maybe. Probably not this belt and not this hat. Um, probably not this sword either. Okay. And yeah, I already have Alchemist Ipron, right? So I can just sell this one. Okay, so and I'm just gonna keep my pre-order items, I guess, lying there. Um, we already have one of those rings. And... Magic Shackles cannot be researched, cannot be researched. Torpor we already have, Mana Overflow, okay. But those are some good, like, powerful uh, wave wayfaring skills that we can use outside of the combat. But I'm not sure if I don't want to waste gold on them just yet. Yeah, let's just remember that they exist. Um, and we can just buy them later if we need them. For now, let's try to uh, manage without them. And we're going to use them as a last resort if that's the only thing left that, that is um, available to me. Okay, let's get some healers. And then hopefully we can challenge uh, some tougher fights we couldn't do before. Oh wait, I actually want to use the, the quick travel and enter the town from the other side to get the merchant with the healers faster. <laughs> because running around town is just that slow in this game, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Mm, and I don't remember if there were any... Uh, good items I could have I could have bought I could buy now to get even even stronger uh, not this guy here we have the alchemist gloves uh, we need this guy Fresh pastries, hot and hey, heard the new joke about the savior Okay. <clears throat> the saviors on the road. Armored head to toe, sword of Ah, uh, yeah, if he looks like a lot of troops, it's probably better to, to reload, right? And and try and try maybe try some other fights, try to power up before and right. Like usually the usually in those games, like there is like um like a path of least resistance, right? Where you can kinda power up and then and then try some more some more difficult fights. Um, it, sometimes it may take just some time to fight those fights that are easier for you, right? And then you can just take it one step at a time. That's usually that's usually how I do this, right? So maybe try try something similar. All right. So I could try this fight. I could try that fight. I'm actually not sure which. I think that fight's a lot more uh, difficult to complete. Um. There is that fight as well that I could potentially try and deal with. Because there are not that many options left to me here, right? I probably... Well, I could go like all the way here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into some sort of fight here eventually. If I try to go that way. So maybe try. Let's try to challenge this guys, those guys again, and see how it goes. Now that I have um, more eagles and more birds, and they are all leveled up and a bit stronger than they were before. Let me try that actually. And if I can't, well, then we'll try something, something else again. 
and we will try as many times as we need to to succeed. Okay, let's try this again. Mm. So one thing that I was probably unnecessary last time I tried this was using the the weakness on the archers because they cannot shoot they cannot shoot uh, right away. They cannot shoot right away. So probably what I want to do is I want to use my um, damaging spells first. Um, and see if that's better. Mm, I probably want to protect the healers from the eagles. Okay, let's try this formation for now. Um, well, now we have like a lot more options, honestly. We could actually just summon golems, right? Apparently, we can only do this very close to us. So maybe this, we are going to use that next turn to help us um, tank some of the advancing troops. And for now, we can consider some other options. Um... Which will probably involve just dealing uh, some damage here. Like, I actually wish I had more damaging spells by now. I didn't find many yet, or maybe I need to just go back to town and make sure um, I checked every vendor. Maybe there are some now available. Hmm. Maybe I just want to try do doing some damage here. Um, to the eagles. Archers, I'm not gonna kill that many, only one. Although the eagles are gonna be first to die anyways, because they are gonna charge me here. Maybe that's not that good either. I could also slow down the raiders. But I actually kind of want them to come, right? Because I need to deal with them one by one. And don't actually want to have to deal with them all at once. Um, not maybe actually now because I don't deal that much damage with the spells. Maybe it's actually a better idea to just buff up as much as possible. But again, that's not gonna last too long. Only two turns. Probably too early to use it. So I think in the end, like actually dealing damage might be the best here as a first turn. And then we are going to wait with eagles. Okay, this time they are going to go for the crossbowmen. And unfortunately they, they had a crit, so they killed one of them already. So it's probably not a good idea to put them there. Okay, yeah, because it's going to take a while before the archers can actually do anything to me. So, yeah, last last combat was definitely not that good to um, use weakness on them right away. Here we probably just want to incinerate the eagles. Or maybe not. Maybe I actually want to attack the eagles with my eagles as well, right? And focus a bit more on those guys here. Okay, let's do that. So in this fight we'll definitely have some losses. I think it's unavoidable. Because it's very, very difficult to begin with. Okay, we don't have anything to clear. Now. I don't think there's much we can do. We can wait, but I think... <clears throat> we cannot attack this turn with the heavy crossbowmen, unfortunately. Um, 
Oh, okay. So we deal bonus damage from afar. Yeah, I'm gonna summon the golem next turn, Martin. Like, I already used uh, the spell this turn. That definitely is gonna help to tank the damage here. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably... Yeah, because the eagles can kill the eagles here for sure. So I cannot just attack the, the guys here. We could attack with the bears here. How much damage I'm gonna take? Not that much. Which might be a good idea. Oh, we actually got a new ability which I forgot to check. Let's see here. Charge. Okay, unit speed plus two. And unit initiative plus two as well, which is great. Which is gonna be bring, bring them up to par with those guys. But I think I prefer to weaken them first, right? Um, we probably want to get here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's still fine. And then use the heavy blow to weaken them so we take less damage. Um, so I guess dodging actually just reduces the damage instead of just like avoiding entirely i'm guessing that's what it was because it said dodge but it also did also took damage i didn't even realize there are skins for the troops in those special editions <laughs> i have to check this out i feel so bad now <laughs> there's so many things about about the editions i bought that i don't know about let me read up on it later <laughs> Yeah, I was just interested in getting like you know the, the full experience, right? But I guess I didn't read up exactly what I what I get there, <laughs> so I guess I have to figure this out later. I, but I haven't seen any like menus or anything like this where I could actually swap the skins or something like that. Okay, for the eagles, we definitely want to attack here. And can I actually kill them here? It's debatable, right? Um, okay, so I'm guessing they have like... I, I deal 45 to 47 and I might not kill them, so I'm guessing they have like 46 or 47 life. There's actually a good chance I'm gonna kill them there. And that's gonna save me the attack from the eagles, so... Eh, let's try that. Nice, okay. We dealt exactly 47 as, as much as we needed. Okay, let's see if I can actually attack the... Attack those archers if I move with my crossbowmen here next turn. Okay. Now we definitely want to summon the golem to block the path here. Alright, let's summon him here. Nice, that is actually a very strong troop. Okay, perfect. That's gonna be very useful in, in, in those fights. As for the eagles, um, I could attack there, but I think it's not, a, not such a great idea because those archers will be able to shoot at me too, so I'm gonna wait for now. Okay, hey, perfect. The golems already soaked a lot of damage from the cavalry. Oh wow, actually lost two already. They are not as strong as I thought as, uh, as I thought they were. Okay, ouch, 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 ouch. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh god. Well, there goes the fight. Okay, those archers are really strong because they have the. Barbed arrows? The other dimension being double enemy. So I'm guessing that they, they got like extra turn there, or is it just the animation where they attack like uh, two in a row? Ah, damn it. Okay. So, it doesn't look like I can really use the high ground here for the archers really well. 
because my archers are not, my archers seem to be slower here, so I might actually not bring the crossbowmen here at all, or like don't bother trying to get the attack on the archers because still for for them it's gonna take a lot a long time before they can go all the way around here and actually be able to shoot at me. Okay, let me try this again. And again, the reason I'm loading is because if I lose entire an entire stack, like I did with the bowmen there, I cannot resurrect them at the end of the fight, or I cannot heal them up, um, which I want to avoid, basically. So I'm going to repeat fights like this uh, until I can get a clean fight where I don't lose an entire stack. Um, let's see, is there any other unit I could bring here? I could bring the Militiaman. But I guess the crossbowman could still be useful there in kind of slowing down the the, the approach of the, the other units. So maybe I'm just going to stick with this army, just uh, play with them a little bit differently. Okay, let's try this again, but just with different strategy. If it doesn't work, then uh, we'll have to figure, figure something else uh, out. Um, so we want those guys here, which they'll probably be, be able to attack at least the, the spearmen, right? They should be able to go into the field of view. The healers here. Um, can I protect them from the eagles though is the question. Okay, we can do this like that. Okay, let's try this instead. And probably the same strat because the eagles are gonna attack us first, so let's make sure that they actually don't do this in full force. And we are gonna wait with our eagles. Okay, they go for the birds instead. And they got critted to death, which is perfect. Also, one other thing I wish this game had, like, ability to speed up the battle. Like, some of the units move really slowly. Yeah, this battle seems tough. This battle seems really, really tough. And it's weird, because it's so close to the, to the city. You would, you would think like it, would, it should should be a lot easier than this, but those archers, like all, all the units here are really strong. Mm. Yeah, we want to nuke down those guys for sure. And then probably move here. Now with the crossbowmen, we probably... Yeah, we can only attack those guys anyway, so let's pin them down. Okay, this weird bug when it takes a long time before I can do anything after this one. Um, one, two, three, four... So I want to run away now. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna summon the golems here, right? So that that's gonna st sl stop those guys in their tracks next turn, so I can stay where I am. As for the healers, I don't really have to do any healing yet, so we can just attack. Since we deal some extra damage here. Um, with the birds, we can attack as well, and then hopefully you can summon the golem here to stop the raiders. So let's do that. Okay, nice. We got very little damage there, which is great. Now, for the eagles... Um... So since I'm gonna take so little, so little disengage disengagement damage here, I could actually try attacking, um, try attacking them and wither them down even more. 
but let's do it from here. Round two. Now we summon the golems for sure. Um, uh, where do we want to summon them? I guess here. Hopefully, like the like the marauders are gonna go for them. But then again, they'll be shut down by the archers pretty quickly here as well. So what's the play here? Hmm. Okay, let's summon them here. And with the eagles, we probably have to run away because they're definitely going to die to those guys because they're gonna deal like a lot more damage with their first attack. Um we could run away for free with our eagle dive, but I guess we're gonna save this as a damage dealing tool for later. And just run away to here, or to here maybe. Doesn't probably doesn't really matter too much. Alright. And defend. Okay, perfect. So the golems absorb the first attack, which is the most deadly. And we only lost one this time, which is great. Okay, and we saw a lot more damage, so the golems definitely did their work here, which is great. Alright, the spearmen are dead. Um, so now the raiders are our biggest threat to worry about. The archers are not gonna be so tough as soon as I can get my spirits and bears on their on their on their case. So we probably wanna slowly move towards them as they move towards us, right? And there's no point in waiting before because the enemy already moved. Let me just check if we have any debuffs here and going around. Hmm. Okay. Um, I can probably move in range for those. Let's just make sure they cannot attack me. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, well, we can pin them down, right? So hopefully we can attack them from here and then pin them down so they cannot move. Okay, that's perfect. And a little break. Because <laughs> the game kind of freezes out a little bit after the crossbowman attacks. Which is funny. Um, here I probably... I could attack the, the raiders, which might be the better move here. Because the bears still have like a decent amount of health and we might be able to heal one of them which is going to be big okay let's try that okay that's perfect okay the healers are starting to be um a much better unit i must say the, the damage starts to be actually a bit more significant although they are very squishy so i have to uh, worry about them a bit more okay but we dealt with one of the raiders which is great i cannot really move the birds yet to attack here because the archers are gonna do like a lot of damage to them i'm probably gonna hide behind the golems here for now and i'm just gonna defend with the golems their role is just to soak damage really Okay, next turn. Um, I think now is the time to actually weaken them to make sure they deal minimum damage. 
and we just have exactly three enemy stacks to deal with. I could probably refresh the columns as well, but that's very that costs a lot of mana. Um, so maybe weakening is is the play. Um, moving there with the eagles is probably not the good idea just yet, but might be uh, after we wait for the enemy to move first. Okay, perfect. The golems are doing their job. Okay, that's nice. And now the spirits of light can attack pretty safely here. They only take a little bit, a little bit of damage. <clears throat> okay, so this strategy is working a lot better. So actually, using the high ground here is a, apparently a mistake. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure if that was intended by the by the design of the spine, but it's a lot better to just tunnel all of them through the um, through the uphill here and just shoot them down as they advance and soak some damage of the golems. I guess is the is the strategy here. Okay, and that that is it for the raiders. So only the archers left, which is now probably the time to move in with the burrs. So let's heal them up to make sure they are in prime condition. Uh, yep. And we can use the charge here, right? And get right onto them. Uh, let's just make sure. Okay, so if I move here, I'll control zone both of these squads, which is going to be great. Okay, let's use that ability. And charge we do. Okay, let's make sure we kill as many as we can. But this squad is a little bit weakened already. So let's just attack here. Okay. We only killed one, but that should be fine. We can move in with the golems, why not? Now, this is probably a good time to use the Phoenix Dive or the Eagle Dive. <clears throat> it's gonna do a lot of a lot uh, AOE damage here. They are gonna be in double control zones. If they try to move, they'll get like a lot of damage from both of my fighters. Ah, I'm too far away. God damn it. Um, I could just do it here regardless. Or just attack normally and do it next turn. Right, we can just attack normally, do it next turn. And that should be fine as well. How much damage I'm gonna take here? Not that much. That should be perfectly fine. And worst case scenario, we can always heal them. Okay. Um, maybe we don't even have to heal them. We could also use uh, stone skin here to make sure they survive, like both the bears and the eagles. Let's see, I haven't used stone skin yet, so let's try that out. And we can use them on the this, on this spirits as well, why not? Right, and now we can use the dive. Nice. Okay, that was actually a lot of damage. Okay, that's very good. And the eagles are the only unit uh, can actually counterattack here uh, as many times as they want. Normally, a unit can counterattack only once. And then those archers were trying to leave the, trying to run away, which activated opportunity attack from the nearby fighters, which is basically the ability. Of all, of all melee, melee fighters in this game. And we can finish the fight in style with the Ray of Light from the Heavens.
Nice, okay. So, well, sometimes changing the strategy is all you need, right? You don't really need to get any more stronger, just try a different approach, and that makes it a lot easier. We actually managed to do this without losing any unit, like at all, which is great. So we don't waste any gold that we get from the from the rewards, which are, which are of course gonna be uh, serving us later. Okay. Um... Cool. Right. I'm really glad I got this fight out of the way. It's been taunting me since since forever, since it was so close to the uh, to the town. Yeah, I mean, use whatever strategy work that works for you, right? Like, I'm sure there are, there are many ways to deal with that fight. Like, this one was just the one I kind of tried now and it kind of happened to work for me. I'm sure there are many ways that, that you can do this fight. The, and it also heavily depends on the units you have, right? That, that strategy worked for me because I had those specific units. And I had those spells, you know, and everything. So it will differ from it. It will differ drastically for everyone, for everybody depending on their circumstances. Okay, let's see if there's anything here to pick up. Not much, it seems. <laughs> so more barrels with more trash. Oh, what's this? Um, I'm guessing not much. Okay, there's actually nothing here. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it's like a dungeon or something, but sadly not. Let's see... Yeah, not much else here to pick up, unfortunately. Mm, nope. Nothing here, nothing there. I guess, that, I guess that was it for this area. There's actually nothing here other than that fight, and we just connect that other... <clears throat> to the bandit camp. Ah, this is where it was, okay. Alright, so we have that fight out of the way. So now... We have this fight here and this fight there, and both of them are honestly very daunting. We actually have... Um, a Blight army there, but I think all of those fights were kind of difficult. Maybe I'll try this one next. But from what I remember, it was not very easy to deal with. Um, but let's give it a go, because it's been a while uh, since I actually tried it. So maybe now we, know, we are now in a better spot to actually challenge it. And that unlocks me... That unlocks actually a lot of quests um, behind it. Like there. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I cannot go there. Or maybe I can go through here. Uh, did I try that? I think I tried it, right? And I couldn't, and I couldn't go there, yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that fight is annoying. Um, I think I missed a treasure there, so let me try getting it real quick. I guess it was up there. Um, I'm guessing somewhere there in those bushes. Was it? Well, I guess not. Or I'm blind. Maybe it was down there. Oh, whatever. I'll come back to it later. Okay. Um, where is the closest quick travel? I guess we can just go back there. <clears throat> Close to the town. I'm 
and try to challenge that other fight that was giving me a headache before. Okay, I have the maximum army. Not much I can do there. <clears throat> Right, let's try it out and see if we can actually change it now or if we need a bit more strength in order to do it. The incantation is working. Oh, so huge. Yeah, because like all those guys, like they're archers and they'll deal they deal a lot of damage and they have the ability where they can shoot twice, which obviously does fight the damage, which is quite a lot. There's this one big guy here. Has like ton of health, and the the brigands the brigands army here, which deals like ton of damage, and we have some help here, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. We'll see. Um, I'll need to take a, like a quick bio break just to uh, get get some water. I'll be right back. And I'm back, sorry for the wait. Alright, so let's see. I still have doubts about this fight. It still looks like it's gonna be really hard to kind of pull through, but... Let's give it a whirl and see how, how we do. Actually, this is the fight where the those iron trolls might be good, because they have a lot of armor and they're, they're all dealing like a lot of physical damage, but we'll see. Okay, so the the gimmick of this fight is that through our quests before we actually got some help of some additional eagles. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough, to be perfectly honest with you, because those archers just deal so much damage. And but from what I what I'm seeing, they have like a lot of mi like a um, spread from minimum to maximum. So probably using weaken here is going to be very important. That is probably the first thing I'm going to do, because those archers are hitting really hard. Uh, do they actually have Beast Killer? Because if they... Oh yeah, they have Beast Killer. I should probably should not bring Eagles and Burst to this fight, to be fair. But let's try to do them like this first, and if it doesn't work... Then we can adjust our strategy accordingly, right? Um, you should probably bring like many units that are actually um, <clears throat> I reduce the arrow damage. That's probably a good idea. That's gonna what, what, what that is what I'm going to try next. Mm, okay. Um, 
How about I put my eagles there? And maybe this will allow them to actually fly over next on their first uh, turn. Those archers there, we'll see. Oh yeah, they actually can do that. Perfect. Although, yeah, okay, there are some more deserters waiting for them there in ambush. So it might not be such a good idea. Well, we'll see. Okay, let's try this. But I have bad feelings about this fight. <laughs> um, we could summon golems right away. But I think weakening the archers is probably what I want to try first. Archer, archer, and probably this squad here, right? Because they're gonna attack me first here. Yeah, I could attack there, um, but then I'm gonna get obliterated by the deserters. Um, so probably I'm gonna wait. And let the um, eagles I got for free here, like, uh, soak some of the damage. I just wish they wouldn't attack the boss here, <laughs> because that is kind of useless. Oh yeah, like you can see, those archers deal a lot of damage. Ouch. Because of the double attack they have. And they got a strong turn too. Okay, that pretty much takes care of those eagles. Um, they didn't, they weren't as useful as I hoped they would be. And they can use this twice! Oh, holy shit. Okay, those guys are insanely strong. Can I get those, please? <laughs> Ouch. Okay, I don't think we stand a chance here, even with those extra eagles. <clears throat> but, well, let's play it out a little bit and see how it goes. But yeah, I don't see myself beating this here just yet. Um, yeah, I probably want to heal the spirits here. But I'm actually doing more damage now. Although if they die, yeah, that's over. So let's heal them. Okay, <laughs> oh wow, he just obliterated those eagles. Yeah, I don't think we stand a chance here. <clears throat> that Marauder is just so strong. So yeah, there's no point really moving in closer with the birds. <laughs> They're not gonna do much there. Yeah, I think... <clears throat> yeah, I wish the, yeah, I wish the eagles actually did that. They were programmed like this, or I could control them at least. So they could go and attack the attack the archers. <clears throat> Damn, they still dealt a ton of damage, just like even in melee. Like those guys are super strong. Um, the problem is I cannot leave. Even really stay here, right? Because the, those deserters are gonna obliterate me, unless maybe I can summon golems here. To help me out. Can I? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, perfect. Let's try that. <clears throat> so that, that at least takes care of one of the archers. But they still deal so much damage. Oh my god. Um, well, I guess let's do it. Yeah, they they still kill them easily. I oh, know they didn't. Okay, they actually survived. Um. Okay, yeah, that was too. <laughs> that was a critical hit. Two healers dead. Yeah. Okay. I think we don't really stand a chance here. Let's wait here.
Yeah, those archers are pretty damn strong. But so is every, every other unit, that is the problem. And the extra eagles I get here, like, <laughs> they didn't do... They didn't do anything, really. They just did a little bit of damage to the boss, but... That is not what we need here, really. I guess we can try killing the eagles, but... <clears throat> and those archers deal all this damage even while being weakened, right? This is the minimum damage they can deal, actually. Which is super scary. I charge with the bird, the, the, with the birds, they're just gonna collapse there, right? I need to weaken them before I can actually do anything. Do I want to attack with the golems? Yeah, probably just on the archers. Because we can do that for free. Now defend, okay. And with the spirits, we also cannot really do anything. Phew, okay, um... So the question is, if I su summon again... Can I have more than one summon here? I actually have no idea. Um... It doesn't really say that I can only have one, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's all I can have. Is there anything better I can do? I could heal the eagles... Which I don't think I need to at the moment... Um, I guess the archers are still weakened... So that's fine... Uh, the boss is not too fast either... I could nuke the archers too... Maybe that's... but yeah, I'll kill like one. Like, I really need some stronger spells here, I think. Because that is not doing much. Uh, it's definitely not doing much. Hmm. Yeah, my options are kind of limited here. I need to I need to go back to tell and check out some spells. Maybe there are some spells I'm missing out. Missing out on that could be very useful here. Um, yeah, like I'm not really sure. Okay, let me try summoning the golem actually. Fuck it, let's see what happens. Alright, I cannot even summon it there, right? Because I need to be close to, to summon it, so that is not even gonna help me mitigate the archers. So, I don't know, maybe I could just, um... Okay, let me cast um, Regeneration on Eagles instead. So I can use them more freely. And then we can maybe just attack here and finish off those archers. Okay, let's wait. Ouch, they got two healers again. Jesus, they deal so much damage. Much. Right, um, so the boss is upon us and he deal a ton of damage, of course. Um, so we're probably going to just intercept him here but not attack. With the crossbowman, we probably want to pin down the the brigands here. Now with the healers, we sadly only have four left. Like four of them died already to those stupid archers, so they deal like very little damage here. So we may as well just use the little bit of healing that they have on the eagles. And 
and hand back. Also, <clears throat> I thought maybe I guess they have elevation, right? And they deal like a lot of, a lot more damage from the, from there. Yeah, those archers are a pain. Okay. Um, can I really attack here? Can I can I see how much damage I'm gonna take? Okay, I'm actually not gonna take that much damage here. And if I can use the heavy blow, that should hopefully be even less damage. So let's try that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And they are weakened now as well. Uh, for the golems, I probably don't want to attack here because I'm just gonna lose them. I'm just gonna hang back and hopefully um, the golems will waste like at least one attack on those guys. Okay. Um, I really want to go after those archers here with my eagles. Those guys are pinned down, so they're not gonna move. So I might slow down those guys here so they don't go after the eagles. So let's see, where was it? I think that was Torpor, right? Yep. Okay, we are actually quite low on mana, only 25 left. Or we could try and basically just resummon the golems here, right? Although, no, they could still kind of attack it. Um, that doesn't matter. Because they can just move through, right? So I guess we have to slow them. Right, let's try that. <clears throat> and now we can actually move here and attack those guys. And then we can use, if necessary, we can use the, the, the eagle dive to actually escape. Okay, perfect. We kill two of them for free through the control zone. And they get an additional turn. God damn it. Wait, they deal so much damage to them. Holy shit. There's only like three of them left there. Yeah, because they deal like 50% more damage to the to the beasts, right? They they had the ability to deal so much damage there. Okay, the Marauder is almost dead here. Um, but those guys won't move this turn anymore. So we may as well try to attack this guy here and try to finish him off. Although we are not dealing all that much damage with the Ray of Light, now that we only have one of the elementals left. We could actually use it on the archers instead. Maybe that's a better idea. Let's do that. Okay, there's only one left there, which is great. And I don't think we have any debuffs. Deal with... okay. We are out of um, pinning down, so those guys are gonna uh, come storming at us next turn. Mm, we'll do this more damage, those guys or those guys. Like it's actually hard to tell. I mean, probably those guys, right? So let's try to thin them down a little bit. This guy has Execution as well. Oh, holy shit. Okay. I think Execution, basically, like, if he uses it and kills the unit, I can resurrect it. So that is really bad. <laughs> but maybe I actually want to stop this guy uh, after all. But I'm not gonna kill him anyways, unless I nuke him down with the spell next turn. Okay, let's try to focus on this guy. Oh, oh shit, they had actually bleeding on themselves, I didn't realize. That's bad. 
Um, uh, I love how much content there is. Every time I go back to the town, there's like five new quests. Oh yeah, definitely. There's a lot of quests, that's for sure. And there's a lot of game, I think, to go to play through. There's no denying that. So I think, yeah, just in terms of like sheer content, probably you, you get you get the value out of the game, even at the full price right now. It's just a matter of whether you enjoy it, enjoy that content or not. Okay. We are out of healing, so basically the only thing we can do here is to do a little bit more damage, I suppose. And then they should be able to cleanse the bleed from themselves. Okay, perfect. That, those guys are wasting their turn attacking the golems, which is great. Oh yeah, we can actually kill the Marauder here with the bears. That's perfect. Okay. So we are left with two big melee stacks. <clears throat> the brigands and the deserters. Mm, okay. Now, are my spirits of light gonna survive this? They should. Okay. Uh, what does Ambush do? Uh, they will basically, basically the attack damage and reduces the armor. Okay, I guess we're just gonna stay here. Golems, no, we are just gonna head back and hopefully waste uh, another attack out of those guys. The regeneration is actually a very good spell from what I see. Like it's a lot, of, a lot of extra healing that we are getting here, which is great. Now, um, what do I know? What do I want to do with the eagles? So, I think what I want to do here... Although, hmm, it's gonna be risky though. How much money I have left? 18, okay. I could slow down those guys as well, and then Eagle Dive here to deal damage. Like, kill two of those, heal the remaining archer, and I might lose the Eagle here. But that's fine, as long, you know, as at least one of them survives. Mm. And maybe if I'm lucky, they're actually gonna survive. <clears throat> and then those guys are gonna be slowed. And which will give me a bit more time to weaken them a little bit more. Let's do that. Okay, now can, they can barely move, and now we can use the Eagle Dive here, which is basically free AoE damage. We got rid of the Archers, good riddance, I hate those guys, or actually I want them on my side, not against me. And then those guys got weakened significantly, so there's a good chance my Eagles actually survived this. Okay. Uh, now it's the Elemental's turn. Uh, I guess we can just wait here. Those guys are slowed down. So let's make sure we actually weaken them as much as we can. Um, yep, same with the healers. I only have three left. They're actually not doing much, but... Better than nothing, I suppose. Okay. Okay. So we actually, our eagle survived, which is perfect. So, okay, it's not too bad. Like, we were winning this. We lost a lot of healers and we lost one of the spirits of light. But I wasn't actually expecting to, to win this. I, I thought like this is going to be a massacre. So maybe we'll actually take this. And we'll see at the end of the fight. 
Maybe there's like maybe there's a limit to how much I can I can units I can recover at the end. I actually don't know. So that might decide whether I actually repeat this fight later or not. Now Okay, if I attack here, I'm actually gonna lose a bear as well. There is a slight chance I don't. Hmm, on the other hand, I risk losing the Spirit of Light here, right? Because I think they might be able to deal like uh, enough damage to kill one of them, or maybe not. Maybe actually not. Nah, they shouldn't. So I can play the safe, right? Because they should be slowed, uh, I think, for one more turn. So actually, I can actually move back with the birds. Or just defend, maybe de maybe defending is just enough here. Okay, let's just defend here. Uh, the golems, same as always, we are just not gonna attack here. But I guess the deserters already attacked the eagles anyways. So we may as well like kill one, kill one of them, right? Okay. Uh, all right, um, so I could attack here, but then next turn I'll have to heal the Spirits of Light for sure, and I'm, it might be actually better to just deal some more damage to them instead. Can I actually risk, like, if they crit or something? That would be really bad. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang, hang back and defend as well. Okay, now for the eagles here. Mm, they're gonna die to the counterattack. And I'm out of regeneration. So I'll probably because the birds have the chance to survive here. And I can actually weaken them down with some other other of my units that will attack before them. So I'll probably just heal the eagles here. Make sure they survive and but attacking here is still probably not a great idea because then there might be they will kill me during their turn so i think i'm just gonna wait basically right let them attack first and then i can decide whether i want to attack or run away yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do okay Same dilemma here, basically. Um, like, we don't want to attack them just yet. Because they do quite a little damage. We're just gonna wait here. And we'll try to weaken them down with our archers. So the heavy crossbowmen, they actually deal kinda mediocre damage. Um, but the immobilized skill is very strong CC, so I'll probably just keep them. I'll probably still keep using them. And yeah, I guess we don't have any debuffs, so we can just attack here again. <clears throat> Hopefully five of them will not deal that much damage anymore. Let's see. Okay, we still lost. Um, we still lost one because of the crit. Crits are the bane of this game. I hate it. <laughs> There's so much crit damage going around. So much swings. Swing. Um, spikes. Not a big fan. Um, yeah, I guess I think now should be safe to attack here for sure. Okay, we got a crit of our own, which I guess helped us there uh, a lot. So obviously, like crits on our side, great. Crits on the enemy side, not so much. Uh, yeah, let's wait. <laughs> 
I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I, I guess I'll prefer if there, there, there were no crits to begin with. Okay, so we're gonna lose the e an eagle here no matter what, so I guess we're just not gonna attack here after all. Just play it safe, uh, heal them again later next turn. I think we have enough mana for that. And the Spirit of Light, they can just finish off the... Um, this brigands over here. <clears throat> oh, this is like the longest fight so far I had, I think. Okay, wow, we are almost out of mana. So this is definitely the, the toughest fight I had to fight yet. And um, this is the first time I pretty much run out of mana. And I think this should be safe to do. But I guess we can just wait here, right? And we can use our Ray of Light to help out there. That only leaves two standing still, though. Um, can I shoot at them? I probably can't. No matter what, right? There are just too many obstacles. So I just pass the turn. Same here. The bears, even sped up, are not gonna all the way there, but I think the eagles should be able to finish the job there. Yep. Okay. Whew. That was a tough one. And we still lost a lot more units than I would have hoped. But honestly, I wasn't expecting we could actually do this with... only with this many... Lo with this much losses, right? But we lost quite a lot. Okay, let's see. Can we actually heal everybody? We can. Okay. So we got 2,000 gold for this fight, and we are going to lose 500 here, 360 here, and 400 here. So we almost we spent almost all the gold that we earned on, on resurrecting our units. So definitely could be better, but um, I guess I would have to power up sig uh, significantly more to be able to deal with those with less... Uh, losses or, or have like a, a lot better way of dealing with those archers, which I guess I was lacking. Maybe more like arrow-resistant arrow units or, I don't know, more like flyers that could go over them and not die uh, quickly. Uh, hard to tell. Okay. Alright, 